Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, East Bay Stamp Chick. This is Michelle, and I'm here today to uh, show you a project that I've, I think I've showed it actually in another video, but I wanted to add on a tutorial at the end. So once we uh, walk through these, I will show you how to make one, how to make the base, okay? These are a really fun folio. They're really easy to make, so great for some quick gifts. And what's fun too, what I think makes life easy is you can go ahead and make up the bases and kind of just have them hanging around until you're ready to, to decide on what pattern paper you want to do and you're ready to make it up. So you could just sit there and make a few bases and kind of have them ready. Um, the, this is Echo Park Collection and I'm so sorry I don't know which collection I used. I think my um, previous video um, did talk about what collection I used. <laughs> I think it was in one of my Smash Your Stash videos. So anyways, this is the folio. So it's, you know, got some cute ephemera on the front and the stickers that they always have in the kits. Little polka dot. I just love the Christmas. It's on craft cardstock, 110 pound Michael's Crafts cardstock. It is a very long folio. Um, and I did, like leave tuck spots so you can tuck in photos and, and things so but um let me see here I think yeah so you can just tuck right into those if you wanted to and it just flips out like this so this is just one side so it's it's pretty um long which is kind of cool because you could if you wanted to put this like on your fireplace mantle and kind of have it showing all the photos okay so you can see and it just folds in like this and then folds in again and again so I made that one and then I made this one again this is an echo park collection. You can little stripes. And I say I think it's Echo Park. It could be Photo Play. This one might be Photo Play. I can't remember. I'm so sorry. And then it folds out again. And then you have this side. I think this one is a Photo Play collection. I don't think that's Echo Park. And so really simple, quick little folios. This is an example of a base that I have already made. You can just see, I mean, it's, it's really simple. And I like to use the Michaels Crafts 110 pound paper just to give it a little bit more stability, even though I'm gonna be adding layers. Uh, it just, I like it to be strong. Okay, so you're gonna need to complete this. You've got eight pieces of paper and um, the cover. You're gonna need two pieces. They are six and a quarter by seven and a half and you're gonna score at the one inch on each side. So they're gonna look like this, okay? And you're just going to glue those together to create your spine. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to add the glue. You want to make sure that you keep it out of the fold, your crease line. I like to place the front over the back so that way this edge that you get is on the back side. We just want to make sure that those line up good and that you can still fold. And it should match on all the edges, okay? 
so now you have this and that's your cover all right then we have um you're gonna need two pieces these are your connection i call them your connector flip pages they are six and seven eighths by six and a quarter you're gonna need two and you're gonna score at a half inch and at seven eighths okay so they're going to look like that you're gonna have two of those one for each end okay and let me see here we have two of those and they're gonna go right on the end okay so I'm actually gonna put glue right here and again make sure you know you're not going over the score you're going to put that right up to that edge of course I've got extra glue to wipe off I always put too much let's just burnish that to get a good adhesive and what's like I said what's great is you can make these ahead of time you do not have to put your pattern paper first you can just make your bases and then have them ready to go and then when you decide what pattern paper you want you can put that on there okay so that's what that will look like we're doing the same thing to the other side Just going to line that up so it's even. And then let's open that up and burnish that real good. Okay, so now you should have this. You can see we have, um, I guess, I, don't know, I can't remember what you call these, a spine. And when it folds up, this is what you have so far. Okay, so it gives you like a quarter inch. Now this back piece is an inch, and these are, I think, a quarter, oh no, they're three eighths of an inch, I think. So it gives you a little bit of extra space in case you do put um, bulky uh, ephemera or like if you like to use um, foam squares, things like that. So the last pieces are the flip pages. You're going to need four and they will be six and a quarter by six and a half and you're going to score a half inch on each one. So they will look like this, okay? And you're going to have four of those. And you're going to add two to each side. So you're going to add one here, and you're also going to add one over here by the, the one inch spine. So let's add this one first. going to just line that up make sure that score line is free to move but that it's nice and even and then let's burnish that Okay, so see that folds in and then it folds again. Okay, now the other one, 
think this white is a little hard to see. I'm going to have to stop doing tutorials in white. This one, you're going to want it. I'm going to do it like, I'm going to show you like this because it might be easier. Okay, so you have your spine, your little spine here, and then over here is the big spine, the one inch. This one is going to be here. And I like to look at um, where this one folds and I kind of put it closer to that end, which leaves some space from where this one is folding. Okay, so let me put this and then I'll show you so you can get an idea of what that looks like. So again, you want to make sure you don't put it too close because you want that score line to be able to move. Okay, so these both fold up and into that little spine, and there's your one inch spine. And it leaves a gap, you can see, so there's space, almost like maybe a quarter inch, between where these end and where that folds. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to put one right here on this end. Put our glue. You can also use, you know, if you like to use uh, like a double-sided tape, that's totally fine. You could do that. Just make sure it's a good one that, that sticks well that really holds a good strong adhesive. You don't want your folio to fall apart on the person. You want it to last. Okay. So now we have that. see that side and we need to add one more and this is going to be the one that will butt up against this score line here and leave that gap between the main spine the one inch main spine put my glue I like glue because it gives me a chance to wiggle things around and get them where I want them versus some types of tape, double-sided tape, can be a little bit harder. And if you don't get it right the first time, you're, you're stuck with like a crooked page. <laughs> so that's why I like to use glue. But tape will be fine. Okay, so that makes your two sides and then you have your fold with the gusset. That's what it is, the gusset in the center. Okay, so you've got these two little spines. You've got your bigger spine right there. Okay, and then they both have fold outs. Okay, I don't know if that top view helps. For me it helps, but Here's your one inch spine in the center. You've got these two fold outs. Okay. And then each side, you've got your fold out and then it rolls up. It's like this and like this. And that's how you make that. So hopefully that wasn't too hard. I know the white might be, at least while I'm watching, um, myself make this in my camera view. It looks like the white might have been a little hard to see, so I think I'll have to stop 
doing tutorials with white uh, paper. You have to do them in another color to make it a little bit easier. But these are the folios. So hopefully you make a folio and um, have some fun with it. They're great for Christmas or birthday gifts. Lots of reasons to make them. So, um, but that was a quick tutorial. So hope you guys like the video. And if you enjoy Crafty Inspiration, please subscribe to my channel. And there'll be more coming out. All right. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.